Welcome to Money in the Bank, where champions will be crowned and ladders will be climbed to grab the briefcase that is on top. We are here live in Hartford, Connecticut. Ladies and gentlemen, make sure you stay in your seats for this one. In our first match, we have Undisputed Era, but who's coming out? Roderick Strong. That's who's coming out. Representing the Undisputed Era here. Roderick Strong is f fighting here tonight for the United States Championship. I'm guessing uh, uh, Kurt Angle booked this match. Both GMs, Kurt Angle and Goldberg, was booking some of the matches here tonight. Well, mo all of the matches here tonight. Well, at least the ones for the championships. Especially this one. United States Championship on the line. Let's see who is Roderick Strong's opponent. It's obviously someone who's also worthy of being United States Champion. Someone who can rival Roderick Strong's offense. Who is it? It's the Velveteen Dream. Velveteen Dream and Roderick Strong both have disagreements with each other which means it's going to be a outstanding match wonderful for Kurt Angle to book this match for the United States Championship I wonder how Goldberg will come up with the IC Championship match later on tonight as you can see, Velveteen Dream just oozes charisma. You can see it in everything he does when he walks, talks, or just even lifts a finger. There's charisma and charm into it. Roger Strong gonna have to pay close attention to this man. Velveteen Dream can distract you using his movements. Distract you long enough for him to get up on the offensive and put his opponents in a defensive state. Velveteen Dream has an elbow drop called the Purple Rainmaker. And Roderick Strong, the messiah of the backbreaker, hits you with the end of heartache. Both moves are both known to be put away any superstar. You can see it on your screens. United States Championship is on the line. Referee holds the title up. This is a great way to kick off our first pay-per-view. And the referee rings the bell. Roderick Strong and Velveteen Dream. Oh, Velveteen Dream already locks in a submission move. Oh, but Roderick Strong using his quickness to get out. 
Now, Roderick Strong is on the offensive here. We have tons of great matches here tonight. And in the main event of this match, both Money in the Bank ladder matches are set to take place. But right now, we have Roderick Strong facing off against Velveteen Dream for the United States Championship. And as of now, Velveteen Dream is back on the offensive. Nope, spoke too soon. Velveteen Dream gets hit with the Falcon Arrow. Oh, but he gets out the kick to the back. Both superstars reversing everything they have. Here comes the the Messiah, the backbreaker, using one of his technical backbreakers to take down Velveteen Dream. Oh, they on the apron now. What's gonna happen? He lifts him. Oh, a back suplex onto the edge of the apron. The hardest part of the ring. You can't win a championship when you're on the outside. It has to be by pinfall or submission. There's no champion's advantage because there is no champion. It's out of count of four. Oh, a suplex. Roger Saw needs to get into the ring. But wait, he needs to get back out. You can't win by count out, Roderick. What are you doing? Oh, he manages to get back out. He probably realized what was happening. He must have gotten so confused as he thought he was the champion. But Roger Strong has gotten busted open in case he didn't know that. Oh, a knee to the forehead. Oh, he just stomps on him. We don't know where Roderick Strong is bleeding at, but he's bleeding. Uh-oh, Roderick Strong. Snap, snapmare. Oh, he got in a neck, a neck crank. Oh, but Velveteen. Oh, a punch to the gut. Roderick Strong is going to try to make the first, be the first member of Undisputed Era to claim Undisputed Gold. Oh, but Velveteen might stop him with that big boot. Adam Cole, the leader of Undisputed Era in the Money in the Bank ladder match. Velveteen Dream suplexes. Roderick Strong on the age, edge of the apron. You saw Roger Stone do that to Velveteen earlier. Two, now they're both back into the ring. What's Velveteen gonna do here? Oh, he gonna carry drag his opponent. Oh, but Roger Stone saw what he was planning to do, trying to pull him into that corner. Velveteen rolls through. Oh! Velveteen gets pushed off. Oh, Velveteen blocks. Oh my god, what a slap by Velveteen Dream. But Velveteen now in the corner. Roger Stong. Oh, a springboard cross body. Oh, punch. Turns him around. Oh, a back suplex face buster. That might be it. Cal referee count of two. Oh, Roderick Strong. United States champion. We now have our first champion. Roderick Strong celebrated his victory for becoming United States champion. Wait, what's he doing? Oh, he's hesitating. Oh, he goes after Velveteen Dream and stomps him out. Referee needs to try to get control of what's happening here. After we just saw the United States Championship 
champion just get crowned. It's time for our next championship match. And here comes Drew Gulak. Drew Gulak is coming out to try to proclaim the newly changed Intercontinental Championship. And who is he facing? We have no idea. Goldberg must have came up with a perfect opponent for Drew Gulak. And it's Ali, Mustafa Ali. Oh, both of them both have uh, beefs with each other. And his opponent from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 182 pounds, Ali. Ali and Drew Gulak both have beefs with each other ever since uh, Ali had beaten Sin Cara in a random match on SmackDown. Drew Gulak came out to attack Sin Cara, but Ali came to the rescue. And they've been going at it ever since. Drew Gulak and Mustafa Ali have been in a bitter rivalry. They, each, they had a match earlier which Drew Gulak came out on top. Maybe this might be the same occasion for the IC Championship. As you can see the newly changed Intercontinental Championship. Referee holds it up. Drew Gulak versus Mustafa Ali. And the Continental Championship on the line. They both hook up, uh, do a hook up in the middle. Drew Gulak push him into the corner. Oh, Valfrey has to break it up. Oh, another back into that corner. Valfrey breaks it up again. They need to try to stay out that corner. Oh, another one. Oh, M Mustafa Ali pushes him into the opposite corner. Referee breaks it up uh, one more, another time. Oh, Mustafa Ali with the Frankensteiner. Now let's talk about this match. Drew Gulak and Mustafa Ali. Mustafa Ali, as I said before, was in a match against Sankara where he came out on top. Drew Gulak came out to assault Sankara, but Mustafa Ali came and stopped that from happening. Nice neck breaker by Mustafa Ali. Now, as I was saying, the next on uh, the next episode, the next episode of SmackDown after that, Drew Gulak and Mustafa Ali faced off again. Drew Gulak was on top in that match. At the end of the conclude at the at the end of the match, Drew Gulak will go on to viciously assault Mustafa Ali. So I'm guessing this is why Goldberg put these two in a match against each other for the Intercontinental Championship. Both of these cruiser rates giving it everything they got. Mustafa Ali seems to be uh, is on the offensive as of right now. Drew Gulak needs to try to do something. He wants to win the Intercontinental Championship. All right, strip it to the corner. Oh, a big chop and a strike, two strikes, and oh, let his back crash into the canvas. Oh, what a smack! And a big boot by Drew Gulak. Drew Gulak believes that there's this is a no-fly zone. So he obviously must hate Mustafa Ali. 
Well, one of the reasons why he ate is because he likes to fly around. Mustafa Ali likes to use his high-flying daredevil skills whenever he's in the ring. And Drew Gulak is not a fan of that style of wrestling. Mustafa Ali with a sunset flip powerbomb to the floor. Oh, Mustafa Ali just got caught with an elbow. And a kick to the gut. Oh, he just got sent into that apron. And into the stairs goes Mustafa Ali. Oh, but he gets back up. Oh, he sends Drew Gulak crashing into the crowd. Oh, it's a count of six. They need to get back into the ring. You can't win a championship like that. Oh, they both go running into the ring. Oh, Mustafa Ali was too quick to try to attack. Mustafa Ali in trouble gets hit with a scoop slam. Oh, Drew Gulak. Oh, and, and now he's stretching out the back. Oh, Drew Gulak now wrenching at the eyes. Oh, no. Oh, Drew Gulak with the Southern Light Suplex. This might be it. He might have knocked out Mustafa Ali with that move. No! Mustafa Ali kicked out right before, too. And now Drew Gulak with the Gulak locked in. Oh, he's going to try to make Mustafa Ali tap. Will he tap? Oh, Mustafa Ali is still hanging on in there. Oh, Drew Gulak realized he wouldn't be able to make him tap. I think he might have passed him out. I think this might be it. Drew Gulak, Intercontinental Champion. Drew Gulak, Intercontinental Champion. But wait a second. We saw this from We saw this from Roger Strong earlier. He's doing the same thing to Mustafa Ali. Can you guys please stop? Welcome back to the show. And here comes Undisputed Era. Which members of Undisputed Era is coming back? Is uh showing up now. Oh, Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. And he's for the Raw Tag Team Championship. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 397 pounds, Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly undisputed. Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish representing the Undisputed Era is coming out to proclaim the Raw Tag Team Championships. As you can see earlier in the show opener, Roderick Strong has had won the United States Championship. Now in order for the Undisputed Gold Legacy to occur, these two men must win the Raw Tag Team Championships. And early, later on, Adam Cole must win the Money in the Bank ladder match in order to secure the briefcase to get a good chance at the Universal Championship. And their opponents are the Hardy Boys, Jeff Hardy and Matt Hardy. Here they come. And their opponents at a combined weight of 461 pounds. Jeff Hardy and Matt Hardy, the Hardy Boys. These two brothers have been through a lot in their career. And here they could become 
the first Raw Tag Team Champions. But they gotta get through Undisputed Era. Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish are some tough opponents. But luckily, but hopefully, Matt and Jeff can use their veteran experience to come out on top. This match was brought up by Raw GM Kurt Angle. You see the Raw Tag Team Championships are on the line. Referee holds up the belts, the titles. Bobby Fish is starting out. Jeff Hardy is starting out. Referee rings the bell. Oh, Jeff Hardy. Oh, atomic drop. And a drop kick by Jeff Hardy. He's getting early in on the offensive, is he? Oh, but Bobby Fish caught him. And into a belly to belly suplex. Jeff Hardy gets a stomp to the back. Jeff Hardy seems to be in trouble now. As Bobby Fish took the offensive weight, Jeff Hardy, no! Bobby Fish got the boot up and a back suplex. Bobby Fish goes for a exploder suplex, sending him into the corner of Kyle O'Reilly. Oh, Jeff Hardy dodged the kick. Oh, a jawbreaker. Oh, Jeff Hardy. Oh, he goes for it again. Just trying to break the jaw of Bobby Fish. Oh, and now an elbow. Now, Fish goes for a snapmare. Oh, a kick to the back. And a rolling elbow. No, Jeff Hardy caught it. Reverse the Irish rip. Oh, now a kick in the corner. No. Jeff Hardy. Oh, was he going for? Oh, a cardiac arrest. That huge drop kick into the chest. Caving his chest in. Atomic drop by Jeff Hardy. Oh, Kyle O'Reilly just couldn't get the hot tag in. Jeff Hardy lands a DDT. Both these superstars going in back and forth. Another DDT. Was Jeff Hardy? Oh, a drop kick to the side of the head. But now he's going to wrap the legs around his head and deliver those elbow strikes to the top of the dome. Jeff Hardy and Bobby Fish been going at it for a pretty long time. Oh, a, a twist of fate. Kyle O'Reilly. Oh, never mind. Bobby Fish has kicked out. Oh, Jeff Hardy going to take some time to show off to the crowd. He, sh he really shouldn't. He's got Bobby Fish where he wants him. Sending up for something. Bobby Fish goes to try to use the ropes to get up. Bobby Fish. Saw that coming. Oh, Kyle O'Reilly tacked himself in. Oh, but he instantly gets caught with a back elbow and gets planted with a DDT by Jeff Hardy. Irish rip into the ropes. Oh, oh, a snap dragon suplex. Now, oh, a big strike. Oh, put him into the ground. Oh, delivering those palm strikes. Oh, he's got the armbar locked in. Oh, Jeff Hardy was touching the ropes. Oh, atomic drop again. But Kyle O'Reilly gets back up. But he instantly gets dropped. Now they're both 
Rushing back into the inside. Colorado, you try to use that to his advantage. Gets sit in the back. Side rushing leg sweep. Jeff Hardy goes up to the top rope. Jeff Hardy lands the Swanton Bomb. He goes for the cover. No! Kyle O'Reilly kicked out at two. Jeff Hardy's going to have to do a lot more to pull away Kyle O'Reilly. As Jeff Hardy gets clothesline over the top rope to the outside. Oh, a kick to the gut. Oh, a massive elbow. Now Jeff Hardy tosses Kyle O'Reilly to the inside. It breaks the count. Oh, Jeff Hardy goes for, he's, I think he's on a uh, comeback. Atomic drop. Oh, leg drop. Oh, and a drop kick. That's what I think is happening. He's on a roll now. Oh, Swanton. No, uh, twist of fate. Now he goes for the cover. Bobby Fish going to have to try to break it up. Never mind. Kyle O'Reilly kicked out. Oh, he's back on his feet. Oh, but instantly gets caught with a drop kick. Sending him to the mat. What's Jeff Hardy going to do? What does Jeff Hardy have in store? Oh, he hit him with the elbow. Oh, Kyle O'Reilly with the reversal. Jeff with the reversal. Oh, kick to the gut. Another jawbreaker by... Jeff Hardy. Jeff Hardy has been going at it all by himself. He hasn't really tagged in Matt Hardy. What's Jeff Hardy setting up for? We're going to try to set up for something. Try to get the crowd behind him. Oh, but he gets caught with a farm by Kyle O'Reilly. And a big boot. Kyle O'Reilly's back on the offensive now. Oh, a chop. Oh, and a big knee. Oh, and a leg sweep by Kyle O'Reilly. Oh, kick to the gut. Butterfly suplex. Oh, he's rolling through it. Butterfly suplex again. Lands him on the front. Oh, well, Jeff Hardy makes the hot tag. Matt Hardy is now legal. Oh, but... Oh, Kyle O'Reilly picked the leg of Matt Hardy. Oh, where is he going to take Hardy now? Oh, whatever it was, Matt Hardy managed to slip out. In a massive forearm attack. Oh, he gets back up. Oh, now he puts him up on his shoulders. Oh, letting him fly into the t onto the top up, but gets caught with a super kick goes Matt Hardy Matt Hardy oh oh he's having his the offensive going after his arm and a back suplex oh Matt Hardy's in trouble gets hit with some palm strikes and Kyle O'Reilly locks in the arm bar trying to make Matt Hardy tap it didn't work Matt Hardy Gets back into an offensive position, lands some strikes. And uh, Matt Hardy, Irish fists him to the outside. They're both on the outside now. They're both coming back into the inside. Oh, Matt wasting some time, allowing Bobby Fish to get tagged in. Oh! A f whatever that was that might have been enough to put away Matt Hardy no it wasn't just before the count of two Matt Hardy gets up oh whatever it was Bobby Fish seems to reverse it and a jawbreaker counter by Matt Hardy oh he ducks the clothesline oh and a shoot kick by Bobby Fish 
Now Bobby Fish got the arm, the right arm, and he cranks on it. But Bobby Fish gets caught. Oh, and a bulldog by Matt Hardy. Matt Hardy grabs his opponent. Where is he taking him? Oh, onto the ropes. Oh, lifts him up into a power bomb position. Oh, using the top rope to bounce him off. Matt Hardy gets countered. Kyle O'Reilly back on the apron now. Oh, kick to the leg and a huge kick to the chest. And a rolling elbow catches Matt Hardy. And Jeff Hardy gets tagged in with the hot tag. Oh, he slams his arm into the canvas. And a need to finish, but Jeff Hardy counters, pushes him off, grabs him. And a, oh, a, a Frankensteiner by Jeff Hardy. Wasting time, allowing Colorado to get the hot tag. Oh, a kick sends down Kyle Riley, but gets caught with a DDT. What's Jeff Hardy going to do next? Oh, drops the elbow on the back. Jeff Hardy can't see. Oh, Jeff Hardy is going up to the top rope. What's Jeff Hardy going to do? Swanton Bomb. Oh, he goes for the cover. This might be it. Bobby Fish might be too late. Yes, he is. The Hardy Boys are your Raw Tag Team Champions. What an incredible back and forth matchup there was between these two superstars. Here, I thought it was going to be over. And I also thought it was going to be over there. But Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish kept going at it. I mean, he hit him with the running fish hook. But this was the move to pull away on this beauty era. The Hardy Brothers, the Hardy Boys, Raw Tag Team Champions. Looks like the Raw Tag Team Division is mixed with huge competition. After what we just saw for the Raw Tag Team Championship match. Let's see what is happening next. And here we have the OC. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. And is for the SmackDown Tag Team Championship. On the way to the ring, accompanied by the phenomenal AJ Styles, at a combined weight of 505 pounds, Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows, the club! Heard that SmackDown Tag Team Championship match is on now. There we have Gallows and Anderson, accompanied by AJ Styles. AJ Styles going to be in the match later on tonight. It says so by general manager Goldberg. He says he's going to be put in a, a WWE World Heavyweight Championship match against Shinsuke Nakamura. But now, the club, I mean uh, Gallows and Anderson, will face off. Against another team for the SmackDown Live Tag Team Championships. And who could it be? And it's the B Team. Curtis Axel and Bo Daleks. And their opponents at a 
combined weight of 462 pounds. Bo Dallas and Curtis Axel, the B team. B team. And they'll see Gallows and Anderson facing off for the SmackDown Live Tag Team Championships. Set up by General Manager Goldberg. This should be an awesome show in here tonight. Both teams. Both teams willing to put everything on the line to become the newly crowned SmackDown Live Tag Team Champions. See this match for the SmackDown Live Tag Team Championships. Referee holds the titles up ahead. Gallows is in the corner. Bo Dallas is facing off against Carl Anderson, and the match is starting. Oh, Carl Anderson already with the back suplex to start off this match. Was now you see AJ Styles could be a make or break for the OC here tonight. Using that AJ Styles could be used as an, a, a distractional tool to aid Gallows and Anderson in becoming SmackDown Live Tag Team Champions. So Bo Dallas and Kurt Ang uh, Kurt Kurtz's Axel. We're gonna have to work twice as hard. Oh, a senton, but Bo Dallas with a we counter. Bo Dallas goes for a chop, but Carl Anderson didn't approve of that. Puts him into the corner, but gets hit with a back elbow. Bo Dallas gets kicked in the gut and a running neck breaker. And now another next a next snap by Bo Dallas. And now he's gonna lift him up and and a reverse DDT. I think that was inverted DDT, my bad. Oh, he goes for it again. Inverted DDT. And he goes for it one more time. A third time. Oh, now he goes for something else. Uh, butterfly DDT. Bo Dallas is straight on the offensive here. Carl Anderson just can't get nothing through. He I mean, just got sent down with those elbow strikes. And now a side rushing leg sweep. Bo Dallas got him in the corner. Oh, a kick to the gut sends him sitting down. Oh, he's gonna try to make a hot tag, but Bo Dallas stops him. Oh, lifts him up into a inverted DDT. Bo Dallas is feeling really confident in his ability to put this match away. Oh, blocks the punch. Carl Anderson into a running power bomb. Carl Anderson gonna have to try to make a tag here. He's been taking a lot of offense. Goes for the power bomb again. Trying to wear down Bo Dallas. Oh, and a uh, Death Valley driver. Lifts him up. What's he gonna go for? Oh, he spikes him on the top of his head. With that driver. What's uh, Carl Anderson gonna do now? Oh, a massive punch. And oh, Bo Dallas dodges the super kick. Gets pushed off. Lift up. Oh, he's going for that spiking driver again. Lance it. 
And both Dallas gets the hot tag. Curtis Axel is now in the match now. Oh, goes for a flow over DDT. And Carl Anderson makes the hot tag. Luke Gallows, big LG, is now in this match. Goes for a snapmare. Now he's tightening on the neck. But Curtis Axel gets out. The son of Mr. Perfect, Kurt Hanning. Oh, now he's twisting on the neck now. Oh, but Carl Anderson. Carl Anderson is now on the apron as Big LG gets out. What's he going to do now? Oh, he's dragging him towards the ropes. Oh, what's Big LG going to go for? Oh, landing him on the top rope, leaving him to dry. Oh, Carl, uh, Lou Gallows, a massive follow-away slam. What's Gallows going to do next? What does he have in store next? Oh, go in for a gut punch. Gallows gets taken down with a drop kick. Carl Innocent probably tired out after the after all that offense he was taken by Curtis Axel, but Luke Gallows is now back on the offensive. Now it goes for a shoulder claw, bringing in that pain out to the shoulder. Was uh, is he gonna do it again? No, whatever it was, Curtis Axel reversed and gets and drives that big boot into the face of Luke Gallows and drops the knee on the lower back of C Luke Gallows. Oh, whatever Luke Gallows was about to get hit with, he managed to push him off. Oh, Luke Gallows. Oh, what a massive gut buster. Luke Gallows lands a massive clothesline. And another Luke Death press. Goes. Oh, gets his hand around the throat. Goes for a chalk slam. This might be it. No. Oh, the referee got taken out by Bo Dallas. Referee is out of commission now. Snap suplex by Colin, uh, Lou Gallows. Oh, a massive kick to the jaw of Curtis Axel. Oh, a counter. Oh, pushed off. And a backbreaker. Oh, kick to the gut. And a massive neck breaker. Curtis Axel is feeling himself here. Curtis Axel is just stalking his opponent. Drags him into the ropes. Oh, a massive punch. Oh, using the ropes to assist into a back breaker. Carl and uh, Lou Gallows goes to the outside. Oh, gets caught into an electric slam. Electric chair. Oh, but Lou Gallows counters. Back into the ring. Oh, no. He can't really. He's like, Bo Dallas is, is standing right there, not allowing anyone to get in. But that's not how you win this match. They need to get in. They need to get in quickly. And Kurt, Carl Luke Gallows is back into the ring. And here comes Curtis Axel. Curtis Axel with a snapmare. Goes for a neck snap. A vicious neck snap. Oh, he's dragging his opponents away from the rope so he can go for the cover. But Luke Gallows kicks out at two. Oh, 
what? What's ca Curtis Axel gonna do? Oh, turns him around. Oh, he lifts him up to I think he's lifting him up to the top rope. Yes he is. What's Luke Gallows got in store? Oh, a neck breaker off the top rope. Oh, kick to the gut. No, Luke Gallows clotheslines him. Oh, he's just taunting Bo Dallas to get into the ring. Oh, and a spear by Bo Dallas. Oh, that spear might be it. No, Bo Dallas didn't get it. Luke Gallows kicked out at two. Oh, but he's back up now. And a headbutt by Luke Gallows. And a DDT. What's Luke Gallows going to do to try to pull away this match? Oh, a big boot. And a, oh, a big sidekick to the jaw. What's Luke Gallows going to do next? Oh, a massive strike. And a snap mirror. Oh, he's got the traps. Dropping those elbows. Curtis Axel gets back onto his feet. Oh, kick. By Luke Gallows. That sent Bo Dallas to his knee. Oh, and a big strike. Oh, Luke Gallows looking to try to pull away this matchup. No, Bo Dallas counters. And a spear. What's it going to take for both of these superstars? Count two. No, Bo Dallas didn't get it. Luke Gallows kicked out at two. Oh, kick to the gut. Oh, Bo Dallas rolling the dice. Goes for the cover. No, it was a well break. Luke Gallows put us on the ropes, possibly. Oh, but Luke Gallows gets caught with a snap mirror. And dropping the knee. Oh, some more knees by Bo Dallas. And Bo Dallas gets elbow to the uh, uh, knee to the gut. Both these superstars put in, trying to do everything it takes. Oh, Lou Gallows goes for a big choke slam. Now he's going to try to put him away now. Jack him away from the ropes. Lou Gallows and Carl Anderson are the SmackDown Live Tag Team Champions. After that mighty choke slam, I mean, look at that neck snap, just snapping the neck back. And then that spear by Bo Dallas. Both, all four of these superstars giving it everything they had. But in the end, a choke slam by Luke Gallows was enough to put away this match for the victory. And here it was so close, but Luke Gallows had the will break. And here is your SmackDown Live Tag Team Champions. The OC are running the SmackDown Live Division Tag Team Division.